At the time of writing this review, the first standalone VR headset, the Vive Focus, is currently only available in China. We were able to get our hands on a Focus dev kit which came with the head mounted display, the controller and C-port charging cable. It didn't come with any guide however, so setting it up was a bit confusing. If anyone else applied and received a Focus dev kit and are currently stuck on getting the Focus to work, hopefully this review will help you out. Starting with the HMD, the Vive Focus HMD is a lot more comfortable. It feels firmer and a lot lighter. With thicker leather covered foam paddings around the face and the back of the head, the HMD is much more comfortable to wear. The design feels cleaner and slicker in comparison to the original Vive with the use of a more firmer head strap and head support. With it being a standalone VR headset, it also means you can bring it and play it anywhere without having to carry a computer around and setting up the base stations every time you move it. In my opinion, it is one of the more comfortable HMDs around. As for the controller, the quality doesn't quite match up to the HMD. It feels as though it will break very easily. That aside, the tracking is pretty good, but it will definitely need some time to get used to. Because it is a 3 degrees of freedom controller, it only tracks the rotation of the controller, so moving it around doesn't affect what you see in the headset. Tilting the controller vertically moves its position up and down in the headset, which I find quite weird considering it doesn't do the same horizontally. The disconnection could be worse for people who are left-handed as it seems that it only stays on the right side of the user and there are no settings to change hand preference. Now in order for the Focus Dev Kit to work, you will need to download an application called Visor and connect your Focus to your computer using the C-Board cable. Visor allows you to view and control what is in the headset properly because the Dev ROM doesn't have the VR launcher preloaded. Once you are able to control the focus with Visor, you will need to connect to Wi-Fi and perform a system update to the number below. Do note that if your HMD's battery is less than 35%, you will need to charge it up because the system update won't install. Once the update is installed, you should be able to use the focus without the need of Visor. It is highly recommended that you join the Viveport forum if you come across any other problems. After playing around in the Focus for a while, a few pros and cons really stand out in comparison to other VR headsets. So here are the pros. The headset is light and comfortable to have on, making the experience much more enjoyable. The overall tracking is quite good. Controller tracks well and the space tracking seems quite accurate. Without a fixed area and cord restricting your movement, you can walk past the set play area provided you have a large enough space in real life. Although you will get an out of boundary notice in your view, it was fun trying to explore further into the back of the main screen. It's a portable VR headset with 6 degrees of freedom so you can have better VR experiences almost anywhere. And here are the cons. The play area is not set by the user and it could be quite a hazard. If a user takes off the headset and moves around before putting it back on, the play area will readjust itself to where the user is currently standing and this could easily cause the user to walk into things. A little bit of performance issue when I was moving around in the home screen. There was a bit of lag that made me a bit dizzy. A miss with the controller is that it only has 3 degrees of freedom. As mentioned before, there's the disconnection between the controller and the headset and the one you are holding because of the lack of movement tracking. Though there are a few aspects that will make it even better, overall the Focus is a good standalone headset. It's comfortable, there's more movement freedom, and it's portable so you can play it almost anywhere. And to developers, try not to make an app that forces the player to move just their head in a fast-paced game.